All right, so as you guys seen in the last episode, we slammed the rear on the GTI. So in today's video, we are not going to be slamming the front, but we are going to be preparing it for when I slam it. So right now, this is where my oil pan sits. So it used to actually sit a lot lower until I got the mortar mount lifts. And I literally broke this oil pan like four different times to the point that I almost got fired. And my boss stopped believing me whenever I told him that my car broke. But anyways, let me show you guys. This is the mortar mount right here. And this is the one inch mortar mount lift that raced my entire engine a whole inch. But I'm still traumatized about breaking oil pan. So I got a skid plate from ECS tuning as you see I got the skid plate right here I got all the hardware and I thought might as well do the oil change at the same time and if you guys watched the last vlog that I posted you guys would know that I bought this new dipstick at pick and pull so let's put it on I'm ready for the hate comments let's get the hate comments this was my dipstick meanwhile come on haters it is your time to shine I'm happy I don't burn or leak oil or else this would have been a whole different story but anyways I have no clue what I'm doing and I don't know how to install that skid plate so now it's time to watch like 20 different YouTube videos first let's start with the oil change try to guess how many miles this oil has all right so for the first step I have to bolt this into the subframe and I was struggling to find the hole, but I think I found my problem. Easy fix. Now I can just put it into the hole. All right, so it was taking me way too long to figure out, but I finally figured it out. So I just had to grease this bolt up and then put this tab on there. And then I just had to put it into this hole, tighten it, and this will basically crush like a mushroom. So just like that. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is basically what I had to do. All right, and once it's fully bolted on, you can take it off. And just like that, there's two threads to bolt on the skid plate. Just like that, I'm able to bolt this on. All right, so I couldn't figure out how to install it even after watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos. So I just decided to try random things and I played with it like Legos and now it's fully installed. Just look at that. Look at how that steel is protecting my oil pan and I got the one inch mortar mount lift, so I should be good. So basically all I had to do is put on this bracket with the bushing and I had to do that three times. And then I just had to bolt on this pole and then finally the skid plate was able to bolt on. So now let's get this thing on the floor and see how close the skid plate is to the floor. All right guys, so that's how close the skid plate is to the floor. Now I'm just waiting on the camera plate so that I can slide slam the front and match the rear the back is still tucking though stay tuned to see the front get slammed i know you guys might be thinking why am i so dirty after just putting on a skid plate but let me tell you guys i actually went through some technical difficulties so when i was doing the oil change i over tightened the bolt and all the threads just fully ripped off and then to get the re-thread kit and the new bolt was going to be more expensive than just getting the oil pan so i actually had to change the oil pan i just didn't show you guys that because that's not a part of the video and that's what happens when you're a youtube verified mechanic and yes i put the oil guys and stay tuned to see the front get slammed 